This video will show you how to set up a premium LED console. These access codes will be used later in this video. Wi-Fi is a standard feature on premium LED consoles, which means that each console comes with Wi-Fi boards installed. The Wi-Fi boards are pre-configured to automatically connect to a network named MX Wireless. If the console will be connected to a network with a different name, you can follow this setup instruction, but you will also need to reference the document, creating a Wi-Fi config file. If the console is not connected to a wireless or wired network, the features below will not function. Automatic software updates. Asset management reporting. RFID login. Workout tracking features. Bluetooth connectivity. Navigation overview. Use the keys on the side of the console screen to select items inside each menu. Use the numeric keypad to enter the access code numbers. The check mark is the enter key, use this key to confirm or select. Use the back arrow to exit the current selection. The plus and minus buttons on the keypad are used to scroll through options on the dashboard. This image provides details about the symbols on the premium LED display. You may wish to pause this slide. first time setup. If the console is new, it may come to the first time setup screen when it is powered on for the first time. If it does not, you can enter first time setup by pressing enter, 3002, enter, on the keypad. Once you complete a step, press the key next to the double green arrow to move on. Using the plus and minus keys on the keypad, scroll to select the default language. There are keys along the sides of the console screen. Press the key next to the green arrow to move on. Workout tracking and asset management are enabled by default. If you wish to disable one of these features, press the key next to the red X. The club ID is 60 by default. Leave this as it is, unless the customer purchased asset management. If asset management was purchased, you will enter the customer's unique club ID number. Enter their number using the numeric keypad. Wi-Fi defaults to yes. If the customer will not be connecting the console to a network, select no. If you choose this option, the console will skip the next step that is shown in this video. The Wi-Fi board will automatically connect to the MX wireless network, since the config file for that network is pre-installed on the Wi-Fi board. If the customer wishes to use the MX wireless network, no additional steps are needed. If the customer wishes to connect to a different Wi-Fi network, you will need to configure the Wi-Fi board to that network. We recommend completing this step after you finish the first time setup process. At this time, choose No, and then press the double green arrow to continue the setup steps. Once setup is complete, you will then open the document, creating a Wi-Fi config file, for further instruction. Scroll to choose the frame type. The frame serial number prefixes are shown on the following slides. This chart shows frame serial number prefixes and their associated model name. You may wish to pause this slide. The console should pull the serial number from the frame LCB or MCB. You must double check to ensure the number pulled matches the serial number sticker on the frame. The console will come with the serial number programmed. You must double check to ensure the number pulled matches the serial number sticker on the console. Use the plus and minus buttons to scroll through the numbers lit in green. Use the arrow keys on either side of the date to switch to the year, day or month. 
the selected option will display in green. Use the plus and minus buttons on the bottom keypad to scroll to the time zone code for your region. A full list of time zones is available in Online Remedy. Press the key next to the green arrow again, you will exit the first time setup menu. First time setup is complete. If you are connecting to a Wi-Fi network other than MX Wireless, follow the steps in the document, creating a Wi-Fi config file, before moving on to the next section in this video. This section will show you how to program the console to automatically check for software updates. In order to use this feature, the console must be connected to the internet. Once the console returns to the home screen, press Enter, 3001, Enter, on the numeric keypad. Use plus and minus to scroll to advanced options, then press Enter. Using the plus and minus buttons, scroll to software and press Enter. Then scroll to auto update and press Enter. Auto updates are enabled by default. Press the key next to the white arrow to move to the next option. Using the plus and minus buttons to scroll, set the time you would like the console to check for software. Matrix recommends staggering update times throughout a facility to ensure the software installs download properly. Press the key in the lower right corner to go to the check update screen. Press Enter to check for available software updates. The next steps should only be completed if the console is used on a treadmill or a scent trainer. For all other frames, cycle power to complete console setup. From the welcome screen, use the numeric keypad and press Enter, 3001, Enter, to launch the dashboard. Use the minus key to scroll to advanced options and then press Enter. Scroll to Calibration, and then press Enter. Press the key next to Begin, to start Auto Calibration. Once calibration is complete, press the key in the upper right corner, until you return to the home screen. Cycle power from the frame. If the console is connected, and has workout tracking enabled, the home screen will look like this.